Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the weekly quest, weekly quest, quest on Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we'll be playing as Kerrigan, the Queen of the Swarm. Whew, this is gonna be fun. All right, so today we fight on the Sky Temple map. Sky Temple map. Kerrigan, Kerrigan, Kerrigan. Ugh. My color coordination with her is just, just terrible. Ugh. I've been meaning to change this mount out. I don't know why I haven't yet. Um, I don't know why I dismounted. So, on today's Heroes of the Storm, the enemy team, or friendly team, uh, Vala, Jaina, Gasol, Stitches, Kerrigan, enemy team, Tychus, Vala, the Butcher, Murden, and Artanis. They have a lot of damage. They sure do. Um, so, in an earlier video, uh, I did make one for Kerrigan, and I showed you guys um some of the changes in her arsenal nowadays hi uh it was more of a sustained build that was built around your shields um but today i think i'm gonna focus a little bit more on something else um so with the previous build uh you would take uh siphon impact at level one or whatever one you whatever one you want uh you could do sharpen blades I don't think Energizing Grasp is completely worth it since you get uh, regen anyway. But I think at level 1, I'm going to take... I mean, I'm not really good with the Kerrigan combo or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to take Siphon Impact just to give us some heals. Um, see if he's going to try to escape. I completely destroyed that because I anticipated him actually um, leaving the field, um, which he did not, uh, oddly enough. I mean, we could have probably made him go into it right there, but we didn't, so. Gonna pick up this region globe. Um, he is gonna back up. I see what he's doing. Where are you going? 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 I got your number. I got your number. So we're gonna... Oh, landed the combo! Oh, get the kill! Oh my god, that was so lucky! Fortunately for me, he was a bad Tychus player, so... Okay, we assume he's a bad Tychus player, so that's what happened. Um, we... Looks like they are heading towards the temple. Uh, we are similar on XP, uh, so I'll go ahead and go up top and help them. But this is... This build is going to be different from the one I'm used to. Um, I don't think I should do two different builds on the same character. Uh, but that's just me, I guess. You guys can decide for yourselves on how you guys think this should be this should be done. Uh, at level four. Oh, here comes the enemy. Here they come. Gotta heal off of him. Oh no, I'm in too deep. I'm in too deep. I could have avoided that death there, but we traded a two for one, so I guess it was a little worth it. At level four. Um, Ravage, basic attacks, Fury Swarm, and Venom. And Venom is still a very good talent to pick at this level range. Um, it does a really good job at securing uh, kills, especially for backline heroes. Has been next. Um, doesn't look like we're going to be way down there. Uh, increases damage of your next Ravage by 20%. I think I'm still going to take Fear of the Swarm. Fear of the Swarm is going to just be like a cleave. Um, you're just gonna do 50% of the damage. Um, oh, you completely avoided that. I should have done the combo. Uh, but it's gonna just be easier for me to clear minion waves and then um, do a little additional damage um, on um, the enemy team. Didn't even need to use the Kerrigan combo there. Good old Jaina. Good old Jaina. You got the spin? You got the spin? We got the spin? Nope. No spin to win. Uh, yeah, I don't feel very comfortable taking on that tower. Looks like Jaina wants to take this siege camp. Okay. I believe. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make stuff happen. Um, I don't know if I went over. Okay, yeah, I lost. I don't think I, I don't think I went over her um her abilities all that much. Um, her Q ability is Ravage. Um, it's just gonna jump to an enemy target, do some damage, and heal you for ten percent of the damage, uh, based on our trait. Our do ability. It's called Impelling Blades. It is a area that's gonna drop a stun just like that. Gonna pull a Psychus back, and we're gonna secure that kill. 
That's it. So the, essentially, the carrot combo is you want to ravage in uh, like this, like this. Oh, I'm not going to actually do it. He's too far ahead of me. Um, I'm going to jump in and ravage. You want to throw your spikes. Uh, oh, crap. Not like that because I fucked up. Uh, where well, you think they're gonna go and if they try to avoid it you use your E ability to pull them in to your blades uh, doing a good amount of damage <clears throat> at level 7 um, like for instance like here that could have been that could have been good but I don't think I'm gonna get that kill no I'm actually not going to so I'm not even gonna try it because that might actually end up dying uh, at level 7 I would normally take a simulation mastery this is gonna give you a lot of uh, sustained uh, on that because um, your traits as Kerrigan uh, you do uh, gain 10% of the damage dealt from basic attacks as a shield so you do get a temporary shield for 6 seconds uh, and it doubles for when you attack enemy heroes <clears throat> uh, the old build I think was you wanted to take Impaling Swarm it spawns 2 Zerglings that attack your enemies uh, can this adaption uh, adaptation is a good way for survivability since Kerrigan doesn't really have uh, very many escapes. Uh, so this is actually a, a good talent to have if you have survivability issues. Um, so we're just going to drop the spikes, kill the enemy uh, Muradin, going to pull in him. And I don't think we're going to take this. Uh, I'm going to go with impaling that one just to get some Zerglings out on me. I don't think we got that. No, we didn't. But I'll probably be able to take out this Vala. Um, no, it doesn't look like I'll be able to. Uh, looks like the enemy Stitch is still fighting over here. <coughs> or friendly Stitches. Oh, fuck. The sound's going out. The stun's still going out. I'm going to avoid this Butcher here. I'm going to end up getting out anyway. Can our friendly Stitches take down this Vala? I'm not sure. Yes, you can. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. He should definitely leave, though. Uh, comes with enemy Murden. Uh, at this level range, uh, I think the the Ultra List got a couple changes. Uh, in case at level 20, um, instead of it just spawning once, you can make it spawn indefinitely, as long as the egg is destroyed. Uh, I still think Maelstrom is the better talent. It's it's more team fight oriented, and because we do have a Gazla, what is he building for? He went for the gravel bomb. If he combos this correctly. Uh, potentially, what can happen is he can grab a bomb them into a, a, des a, a, a designation or like a um, you know a uh, a location, and we can just come in with our maelstrom uh, and do some meaningful damage um, on the enemy team because it hits everyone within your range, uh, within your little circle, not just one hero. Uh, less seven seconds. So it's it's an extremely strong talent uh, paired up with different combos. It it, it just works really well. Uh, it could work really well with Jaina's Ring of Frost, as well. Um, not so much strafe, I don't think. Um, but definitely got some potential here with the gravel bomb and the Ring of Frost, slowing enemies down. Um, got a lot of potential um, with the. Um, with the combo, basically, like we can combo this uh, together uh, fairly, fairly, fairly well, uh, pretty nicely. Um, since they are all top, we can actually possibly take this boss. Though I do not think that's what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and just do some work here. Drop a stun on there. Some of my two little zerglings. Zergum, Zergum. Okay, now they're just frozen in place, and I don't know why. Looks like, going, looks like Jaina wants to go for the boss. I don't think that's a bad idea. I really don't think that's a bad idea. At level 13, I'm going to be taking um, Seal's Duration, but percent. Well, I'm not taking. I'm not really taking any kind of shield buff here, so there's really no point in me taking um, a shield um, talent. Otherwise, you would on a normal basis. Uh, a good ability to pick up here if you're not going for a shield build with Kerrigan. Um, the increased ravage is the range is pretty good to secure more kills. Queen's rush actually increased. This is basically just like a running movement speed. Uh, this will actually give you better survivability uh, and be able to avoid things or get a combat a lot quicker. 
Um, double strike essentially is just um, uh, a oh carry and combo going out. I don't know if he's gonna use his combo here. Oh, stun me right in mid air. Good job, Erden. Good job. Uh, whenever you basic ability is a damage enemy, do next base attack gets for 75% bonus damage. So you just do more <clears throat> basic attack damage with the strike, which I I'm building for a little bit more damage, so I will be taking that. Uh, essentially, it's just a follow through. You see, it's just a follow through. It's it's nothing, nothing crazy. But it's every time one of your abilities uh, do some damage. So it's pretty sh it, it, it it's pretty strong. Kerrigan has a a pretty decent um, attack. Our Tannis is I don't know what he's doing there. Kerrigan stun going out. Nope. Gonna drop the stun in front of him. Oh, that sucks to be him. Looks like they're gonna try to contest us up top. Ring of Frost going out. I could have actually capitalized that with the Maelstrom here, um, but I didn't because of obvious reasons. Uh, aggressive defense gained. I could take aggressive. They could take that. Blade Torrent increases the and Blade Torrent by 30%. Essence for Essence Overdrive. I think I'm gonna take Essence for Essence. Essence for Essence is just gonna. It's like it's a life steal. It's gonna take 10% of their damage, and it's gonna heal you for twice the amount. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go my, pop my uh my fucking thing in here. Can I take this? Yes, I can. Okay. Now rest. Uh, I'm not sure how worth it it was to actually take that kill or pursue that kill, um, but I don't think it was a bad call on my part. Um, actually, I should probably recall gaze some health. We are ahead on the XP, ladies and gentlemen. Our ten is taking this stuff. Murden clearing our minion wave. Um, and we're going to be just coming back. Now, normally I don't build Kerrigan this way, like I stated earlier. I, I do build her a different way. Uh, for more survivability, uh, it's crazy how much survivability you can actually get uh, as Kerrigan. Uh, building her, building around her shield uh, generation. It's nuts. Like, ridiculously nuts. Enemy team starting to cave in on us. We do not have our ultimates up. Uh, but we are going to kill the enemy Bala. Going to pull the Butcher back. Do some meaningful damage. Come on. Yes! Fuck you, Murden. Fuck you! Taika Shani came in all by himself. Not gonna be do not be much help here. Um, he is gonna be taken down for trying to take me out like that, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm just gonna heal. 10%. Right there. The life steal comes in handy a lot. Uh, we did just wipe out the enemy team. The boss still has a minute. A minute 30 seconds until it spawns. This game seems really one-sided as well, um, because how quickly we are we are winning uh, the amount of death going around. We got a big minion wave here in the center. Pain that I'm I'm on my way. Oh yeah, I mean I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I don't feel like I've been making enough videos as I as you know as I've been kind of busy and whatnot. Last year I really failed. Well, not last year. Last weekend I really failed on completing my weekly quest because I didn't have those heroes, and they decided to. I decided to try to do it a little late. Uh, so that's my bad, uh, you guys. But I hope you guys can forgive me, and I hope you guys are still watching my channel. Yes, the cleave. Go for the cleave. Get the cleave, man. We are clearing minion waves like it's no one's business. Because it is no one's business. It's our business. We do it. Two level lead. Don't mind if we do. Not sure what the enemy team is. Enemy Butcher is right there contesting those giants. The enemy Tychus. Enemy Bala right above us. Enemy Murden as well. Uh, gonna close in on this um, enemy Tychus. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop our Maelstrom. We're gonna. Oh, and the Gravel Bomb going out. Beautiful Gravel Bomb. Uh, Bala way at position. Gonna get killed as well. Whew, didn't even need to use my blood for blood or my whatever it's called. Excellent, excellent play from our friendly team. Uh, I'm gonna ping that I'm gonna I'm on my way up top. They want to assist on the boss. I do not disagree what they want to do. Um, I am all for uh, taking that boss. It's actually a really good, really good time to take the boss. Actually, um, so let's see. At level 100. Um, Increases the mel size, maelstrom size by 25%. Uh, 
Uh, if you were going for like more of a shield build, this would be the go-to talent. I think Butcher's gonna actually zoom in on me here. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Save me! Yes! Oh, unfortunately, the boss actually killed me. Uh, we will take this boss uh, and kill two of the enemy team players. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he was way out of position and he decided to pursue me. I should have backed up and not have ravaged to the enemy like that. Uh, could have probably saved my life there. Uh, so yeah, uh, Omega Storm is an extremely good talent if you build uh, more of a shield build uh, for her. Um, I unfortunately am not doing that today. Um, Nexus Blades is another good talent to choose if you're going for mostly basic attack. Which it seems like I kind of am since I took the double strike talent at level uh, 17 there. Or not 17, level 13, my bad. Uh, so at level 20, hmm, Bolt of the Storm, I have no way of actually escaping. Uh, so I will be taking Bolt of the Storm at level 20. Bolt of the Storm is one of those talents that are just universally uh, really good. You can use it to engage, you can use it to disengage, which most likely you're going to be using it to disengage. Um, from an enemy team fight, uh, but for the most part, it it's very useful for a lot of situations. Uh, it's really entirely up to you guys on how you guys want to use it. Uh, let's see the enemy team zoning in on our friendlies. Gravelbond going out. Bala blinking out of the way. The enemy butcher trying to go in on our. Oof, oof, oof. That was painful. That was very painful. I feel for them. I feel for them on that. That was extremely painful. And I feel terrible. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. Train of thought lost. So we're just gonna take this camp. And we're gonna have fun with it. Um, enemy team, most of the enemy team is dead. We can actually go in and push fairly, fairly hard. Enemy Tyke is all here by himself. Um, not doing the right thing on there, trying to engage on us when he clearly saw three of us coming in. Um, we could do some meaningful core damage here. We have a whole minion wave. A hammer for Murden coming out. He's gonna cleave down these these baddies. He's gonna do this. Pull him in. Secure that kill. I'm not gonna try to hit the enemy core without a minion wave because it's gonna hurt. Pretty bad. Um, we do have our Tannis coming in and the enemy butcher. I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna bolt of the storm the hell out of there. You see that? The essence for essence kept me alive, and the um the what's your thingy? Uh, I'm actually gonna die right there. The okay, the essence or essence kept me alive for that duration of the fight with any butcher kind of zoned in on me, and the bolt of the storm secured my escape on the way out of here. Uh, I. Did a bad job of actually escaping fully there. Um, I went in on the Artana way too hard. Was focused by the core. But you know what? It's going to be no problem because that's going to be GG. That's going to be GG. You know, I don't even check my stats. I don't even check how well I'm doing. I guess I can check that here in a second. Woo! Fun stuff. Very fun. So. So that was Kerrigan. And the build that I usually... Do not take for her. That's actually the first time I've ever built that way. Uh, this is stats, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't do as much damage as I think I could have. Uh, 30 kills, 4 deaths. Uh, not too bad. I was in the fights majority of the time. Uh, but I don't I don't ever expect to out damage Avala, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, these are the talents I chose today, guys. At level 1, I took Siphoning Impact. Ravage is going to heal you for 10% of the damage you do. At level 4, I took... For the swarm, this is just a cleavability for your basic attack. Level 7, Impaling Swarm. Uh, when you use Impaling Swarm, it will spawn two Zerglings to attack the enemy. At level 10, I took Maelstrom. Uh, it's just really good for those really clumped up team fights, especially with the combination of Gaslow's Gravel Bomb. Uh, it's very, 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 very useful. Uh, level 13, Double Strike. Uh, this is basically a follow through after you use an ability. It's going to give you, or actually it's a little different. This one says the basic ability is damage an enemy. So it's not like you can just use the basic, abil the basic ability and expect that 75% bonus damage. Uh, so that's a little weird there. At level 16, I took Essence for Essence just to give us a little more survivability with the healing. Uh, since we didn't have a support on our team. 
Uh, and at level 20, I took Bolt of the Storm for that added survivability to engage, disengage and engage from combat. Uh, so that was lit. That, that later gen was Kerrigan. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys all in the next one.